Today's lesson is dialogue focus shopping for bags. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our show. I'm Roger. And my name is Helen. And in today's program, we're going to talk about shopping for bags. You know, when we go around in our daily lives, if we go to school or if we go to work, we got all this stuff that we've got to carry with us, and we can't use our two hands. We usually need some kind of bag, and so sometimes, of course, we need to go shopping for a bag. That's right. Now it may seem like a trivial or unimportant topic to talk about shopping for bags, but in fact, sometimes it's not easy to find the exact bag that you're looking for. In my case, I like to put a lot of things in my bag: cell phone, tissue paper, keys, wallet. Even a foldable umbrella, because you never know when it's going to rain. So I tend to go for large, roomy bags. But I also hate those bags where you have to dig to look for things. So you have to spend five minutes looking for your keys because your bag is too big. So that's a problem too. Yeah, that's why you want、uh, separate compartments for everything. Like with my bag, I've got a separate compartment for my smartphone, and then I've got a compartment for my pens and my notebook. My sketchbook is in a certain、uh, pocket in the backpack. Yeah, I got an umbrella like you, and all sorts of other things. And this is kind of up to you—the kind of bag you want to buy, what kind of features it has, and stuff like that. So in today's program, we've got a conversation between. Grace and Dylan, and that's what they're doing. They're shopping for a new school bag. So let's get to it. Let's listen to the first part of their conversation, and we'll come right back. Shopping for bags, replacing an old backpack. Grace and Dylan are shopping downtown. Grace wants to buy a new school bag. I can't believe I still haven't found the right backpack. Maybe what I want just doesn't exist. Don't be so negative. Let's look around a bit more. This one might fit the bill. What do you think? It looks sturdy enough for sure, and I like the shape and color. But I can't tell if it has a laptop compartment. Let's go in and find out. May I see the backpack that's in the window? Of course. Let me get it for you. As you can see, it comes with special compartments for storing your laptop, wallet, chargers, and water bottle. That's exactly what you were looking for. And there's ample space for my textbooks and notebooks too. How much is it? The price is fifty-five dollars. That sounds reasonable. I'll take it. 大家好，第一部分我们看到形容词 sturdy， 指坚固耐用的。结实的、强壮的，像是 the shelf is sturdy enough to hold heavy items. 这个架子够坚固，可以承受重物。或是 I saw a sturdy young boy with a skateboard crossing the street. 我看到一名结实的小男孩拿着滑板过马路。接着我们看到名词 compartment， 指设备、容器、家具的隔层、隔间。像是 This backpack comes with a built-in water bottle compartment. 这款背包有内建水瓶隔层。另外，除了上面的意思，这个字还可以指火车上的小客房。举例来说 ，The train we took in Europe has more than fifty compartments. 我们在欧洲搭的火车有超过五十间的小客房。再来，我们看到单字 ample， 这个字是形容词，指大量的、充裕的。举例来说 ，Amy started her project weeks in advance, giving her ample time to work on it. Amy 提前好几周开始写她的报告，让她有充裕的时间完成。另外，补充一个同义形容词 abundant, a b u n d a n t, abundant。我们可以说 convenience stores are abundant in Taiwan. 台湾有大量的便利商店。And welcome to the first part of our dialogue focus. Today we're going to be focusing on replacing an old backpack. So we have Grace and Dylan who are shopping downtown because Grace wants to buy a new school bag. And Grace says to Dylan, "I can't believe I still haven't found the right backpack. 
maybe what I want just doesn't exist. So Grace is feeling a little bit frustrated because they've been shopping for a while, and she still hasn't found the backpack that she's looking for. Yep, and she used to have a backpack, but the backpack has either worn out or it is no longer suitable for her to carry the things she needs to carry. So she's going to be replacing that old backpack, getting rid of the old one and buying a new one. And she's kind of frustrated here. She still hasn't found what she's looking for. She just can't find the right backpack. Maybe yeah, no one makes this kind of backpack. I feel frustrated like that sometimes as well. They just don't seem to have the bag that I want. The one I got now has a compartment for the smartphone, but it's a little bit too small. I wish it were a little bigger. That's right. But when you're in that situation, you just have to keep on looking, and you'll find the right one. In fact, Dylan says, "Don't be so negative. Let's look around a bit more." And then all of a sudden, Dylan sees a bright-colored backpack displayed in the window of a luggage store, and he says to Grace, "This one might fit the bill. What do you think?" Yep, fit the bill. So here we've got a phrase to fit the bill. You could also say fill the bill. I believe I've heard people say that as well. That just means it's perfect. It's just what you're looking for. It's just what the doctor ordered. Right, and Grace replies, "It looks sturdy enough for sure, and I like the shape and color, but I can't tell if it has a laptop compartment." So we find out that what Grace is looking for is, in fact, a bright-colored backpack that's sturdy, which means that it is strong and it's made of a material that can't be easily damaged because she's going to be using it as a backpack for school or a school bag. So she's probably going to put a lot of heavy textbooks and pencil, pen case, and a lot of stuff crammed in there, including her laptop. So she needs something that won't break easily. So this one that Dylan has found that's in The window of a luggage store looks sturdy. However, Grace isn't sure whether it has a compartment to store her laptop. Exactly. So, yeah, the、uh, nice thing about this backpack is that it is sturdy. Sturdy here, for example, I'm looking for a tripod for my camera, but they're all made out of plastic, so they aren't sturdy enough. If I want to have a sturdy tripod, I probably need to buy something made out of aluminum or steel or something like that. But in this particular case, yes, you want to buy a backpack that is sturdy. It will. Stand up to all kinds of abuse, and it won't break down or rip open and stuff like that. And she does like the shape of it, and she likes the color, but hey, she doesn't think it has a laptop compartment, and that's、uh, pretty useful nowadays for students because、uh, students, I think, attend their lectures in college or their classes equipped with a laptop computer. You gotta have that if you're a student these days. That's right. They often take notes in class with their laptops instead of with a pen and paper. So Dylan says, "Well, let's go in and find out." So Dylan and Grace go into the store, and Grace says to the clerk, "May I see the backpack that's in the window?" And the clerk says, "Of course. Let me get it for you." Yes, I'd like to see that backpack in the window. And if、uh, you're going to tell me the price, I could ask you how much is that backpack in the window. But here, the clerk says, "Of course, I will get it for you." And then is shown the inside of the backpack, and the clerk says, "As you can see, it comes with special compartments for storing your laptop, wallet, chargers, and water bottles. So these are necessary compartments in your backpack. They are separate sections that probably have their own zipper, and you can place things in those compartments." As the clerk says, your laptop, computer, your wallet, which of course has your cash and your credit cards and stuff like that, and of course you've got all those devices. So you need chargers, and you're going to also need a water bottle because you're going to get thirsty lugging this stuff around. Right. So this backpack seems like it will keep Grace's things well organized. She'll be able to open her bag and find the things that she wants immediately. And Dylan says that's exactly what you are looking for. So Grace evidently has found the backpack that she had in mind. 
Yep, that's what you need. And Grace says, "Well, there's ample space for my textbooks and notebooks too." Ample here just means sufficient. Actually, quite a lot extra. That's what ample means here. Hey, let's get together on Friday. I have ample time in my schedule to get together for lunch and some coffee afterwards. But in this particular case, there's a lot of extra space for my textbooks and notebooks. And then she's going to ask the price. How much? Is the backpack? How much does it cost? And the clerk gives her the price. The price is fifty-five dollars. I assume this price is U.S. dollars. Yeah, it sounds like U.S. dollars. Fifty-five dollars isn't cheap, but if you're going to invest in a sturdy backpack that will last a long time, if she's in college, that backpack might last all four years of her college, which means she won't need to get a new backpack before she graduates. It's a pretty good deal. Fifty-five is doable. So Grace says that sounds reasonable. I'll take it. Yep, I'll take it. She's not going to take it away without paying. That just means she will buy it. And to me, that does sound reasonable. Fifty-five dollars is probably a good investment for a backpack if it's going to suit your needs. If it's suitable for you. Okay, that brings us to the end of the first part of our lesson. Let's now move on to the second part and look for a travel bag. Looking for a travel bag. Dylan asks the clerk to show him some travel bags. I'm looking for a lightweight weekend bag. Could you recommend something? Did you want a backpack, a duffel bag, or maybe luggage with wheels? I suggest you get a weekender backpack. They're practical and leave your hands free. Okay, I'd like to see some backpacks, please. We have two options. This one has pockets for storing documents, toiletries, electronics, and a separate compartment for clothes. Nice shape and design. What about the other one? The other one is pickpocket proof. You see, the zippers are hidden and the durable fabric is cut resistant. It's a bit expensive. Do you have something like this that's less pricey? I'm afraid we don't. But you can receive a 10% discount if you have a store membership card. Go for it. You'll be able to use it for a long time. Okay, I'll buy it. Here's my membership card. Second part, we see the adjectives lightweight, light, light, light. For example, the lightweight shoes were perfect for running. This kind of light shoes are best for running. Besides, the meaning of the word is perfect for running. This word can also be a noun, meaning a person who is light. 无能力的人，像是 Kevin used to be a lightweight in fashion industry, but now he's a new rising star. Kevin 以前在时尚界默默无闻，如今却成了炙手可热的新星,星。最后，我们看到一个单字 resistant， 这个字是形容词，指抗点点点的、抵挡点点点的、部分阻绝。举例来说 ，Some species of mosquito are becoming resistant to insecticides. 有些品种的蚊子变得对杀虫剂有抗药性了，或是 I'm not afraid of getting my jacket wet because it's water resistant. 我不怕把夹克弄湿，因为它有防泼水。另外，补充这个字的名词 resistance, R E S I S T A N C E. Resistance 指抵抗力、反抗。我们可以说 exercise helps increase the body's resistance to some diseases. 运动有助于增加身体对某些疾病的抵抗力，或是 Every night, Teresa has to deal with her child's resistance to going to bed. Teresa 每个晚上都必须应付小孩抗拒上床睡觉。So in part two, we have Dylan who is looking for a travel bag. In part one, Grace was looking for a backpack. She has found the backpack that she wanted, and they're still in the same store. So Dylan takes the opportunity to ask the clerk about what he wants. Dylan asks the clerk to show him some travel bags, and he says to the clerk, "I'm looking for a lightweight weekend bag." 
Could you recommend something? So Dylan is looking for a weekend bag, which is a travel bag that's relatively small because he will only need to use it for two or three days. And this bag needs to be lightweight, which means it should be lighter than most travel bags. It should be light and compact and easy to carry around. And that's what Dylan is looking for. Yeah, something to use on the weekend. And the clerk says, "Yeah, what did you want exactly? What do you mean by a weekend bag? Do you want a, or did you want a backpack, a duffel bag, or maybe luggage with wheels? So a backpack, of course, is worn on your back. It's not worn over your shoulder. I like the、uh, shoulder bag because it's easier to get at stuff. If you wear a backpack, you got to take it off and then dig for the stuff." So that's one choice here—a backpack. A duffel bag is kind of like a bag with one compartment and one handle, usually for carrying clothing only. And then we've got this thing, luggage with wheels. You see people pulling those things around all the time. They're very convenient for train and air travel. That's right. So duffel bag; those bags are usually made with cloth, and they usually won't keep your clothes nice and smooth. They'll get wrinkled if you put them in a duffel bag. Usually, so Dylan has all of these choices, and Grace suggests to him. I suggest you get a weekender backpack. They're practical and leave your hands free. So that is a pretty good suggestion. It's a type of backpack for the weekend. So it's called a weekender backpack. And Dylan says, "Okay." Okay, that sounds like a good suggestion. And Dylan then turns to the clerk and says, "I'd like to see some backpacks, please." So now he has turned his attention to backpacks and not shoulder bags and duffel bags and stuff like that. And the clerk says, "Well, we have two options. We have two choices. That's what an option is—a choice." When I graduated from high school, of course, I was a really smart kid, so I had two options. Actually, I had more options than that. I had several options in terms of where to go for university. I could go to Oxford, I could go to Yale or Harvard or Stanford, but I chose instead to go to Hunter College in New York City. Right, and if you're in a restaurant, the server might say to you, "You have two options for your main dish. You can have the grilled steak or the fried chicken." So here, the clerk presents two options to Dylan, and the clerk says, "For the first option, this one has pockets for storing documents, toiletries, electronics, and a separate compartment for clothes." Right, so these are all things that could be stored in the backpack here. Toiletries, of course, are things that you're going to use in the bathroom, which could be toilet paper. But you also might brush your teeth with toothpaste and a toothbrush. Maybe you got a comb there, some shampoo, some soap, and stuff like that. Maybe a razor blade if you need to shave your face or your armpits. And also, you got electronics in there, which would be your smartphone and your laptop computer or your tablet computer. And of course, you can have a separate compartment for clothes. You are going to need to change clothes during the weekend. That's right. And Grace says, "Nice shape and design." What about the other one? So Grace is suggesting to Dylan, "This is something you can consider." But before you decide, let's look at the other one. And the clerk says, "The other one is pickpocket proof." You see, the zippers are hidden, and the durable fabric is cut resistant. So this particular backpack is special. It's different from the first one because it won't allow pickpockets or thieves to get into the bag to steal your things. And that's because this backpack has special features, such as zippers that are hidden, which means whoever is trying to get at your things in the bag won't be able to open it because they can't get to the zipper because. Maybe there's a flap hiding the zipper, and it's made of durable fabric. All right, durable of course means it's、uh, sturdy. That's another word for durable, sturdy. And yes, the fabric, which is the cloth, is very strong, and it's going to last a long time. And yes, those pickpockets can't get at those things. They might eventually, but they're going to need time to look for the zippers. And by that time, you will have already gotten off the bus or whatever. And also, we're saying that this durable fabric, this strong cloth, is cut resistant. If something's resistant. Then it's probably not going to be affected by that thing. It's probably very difficult to cut the fabric, like、uh, you want to wear clothes that are water resistant. If you're hiking, for example. 
Right. And just a note about the word proof that follows pickpocket. So if you have the word proof following a noun, it's used usually to describe something that will protect you against the effects of that noun. So I could also say that my jacket is rainproof, which means that it won't let rain or water get inside and make me wet and drenched. Something can also be, for instance, you have bulletproof vests that sold Soldiers and police officers wear to protect them from bullets. And we should mention that,、uh, say, waterproof and water resistant are slightly different. Waterproof means no water can get inside, whereas water resistant means, yeah, the water will be kept out to a certain degree, but it will get in eventually. So don't stay out in the rain too long. But again, this particular backpack, this option. Is cut resistant. That seems to be a good feature. And Dylan says, "Hmm, it's a bit expensive. It costs too much money. Do you have something like this that's less pricey? Pricey is another term for expensive, although it's more of a slang term. Ooh, that's a bit pricey. I don't think I'm going to buy that bicycle." And the clerk replies, "I'm afraid we don't, but you can receive a 10% discount if you have a store membership card." And Grace says. Go for it. You'll be able to use it for a long time. So Grace is egging him on, saying you should get this bag because it's worth it. Go for it. Don't think about it anymore because you'll be able to use it for a long time. It's sturdy and it'll keep your things safe. So just buy it. Yeah, just buy it. Just do it. Don't ask questions. Don't hesitate. Go for it. Do it. And yes, it will last you a long time. And Dylan says, "Okay, I'll buy it. I'll get it. I'll pay for it. Here's my membership card." So he's probably going to get a nice discount, and that bag will last him for a very, very long time. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation for today. Here comes our Chinese teacher. Good 同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点，在对话的第二部分 ，Dylan 想要找旅行袋，那么 Grace 就建议他买旅行背包。他说 ，They're practical and leave your hands free。旅行背包既实用又能让你的手空出来。好，句子里面的动词 leave 在这边不是离开或是留下的意思哦。Leave 表示使什么处于某种状态。那么句型 leave 加受词加受词补语，就可以表达任由什么东西处于什么状态中。好，那么受词补语可以用形容词、过去分词、现在分词、介系词片语。像课文里面用到 leave your hands free， 它就是用形容词 free 来当补语，去补充说明受词 your hands 是处于空闲空出来的状态。好，举例来说 ，Please leave the door open， 请让门开着。那我们这边受词不语用 open 这个形容词。One of the men left his jacket unzipped. 其中一名男子没有把夹克的拉链拉上。那这个例句呢，我们就是用过去分词 unzipped 来补充说明夹克是处于没有拉拉链的状态。好，那么接着店员他介绍两种旅行背包。当他介绍到第二个款式的时候，他说 ，The other one is pickpocket proof. You see, the zippers are hidden, and the durable fabric is cut resistant. 好，另一个是防窃的。你看它这个拉链呢是隐藏式的，以及使用到这个耐用的防割布料。好，那么句子里面用到 pickpocket proof 就是表达防窃的、防扒手的。Pickpocket 表示扒手、小偷。那它这个字尾连字号 p r o o f 这部分呢是表达防什么、耐什么的。那么它是用来表达完全阻绝的语义。而 proof 这个字尾呢，常常会直接接在名。词后面来表达，像 waterproof 就是指不透水的、完全防水的 ；fireproof 是防火的、耐火的 ；bulletproof 是防弹的 ；soundproof 是隔音的 ；windproof 是防风的。还有现在不是有很多防呆设计吗？那么 foolproof 就是防呆的，你也可以用 idiot 加上连字号加上 proof 去表达防呆的。
好，那么另外有一个补充单字，课文里面这个补充单字 resistant 是用来形容抗什么的，抵抗什么的。我们有时候可能会看到名词后面先接连字号，再接 resistant 去表达抗什么的，抵挡什么的。那这是用来表达部分主角的语义哦，像是 water resistant， 它这个就跟 waterproof 不一样喽。water resistant 是表达防泼水的，它的防水程度跟 waterproof 不一样。样 ，water resistant 表达说不容易被水毁坏或是冲掉，不容易透水，可是不代表它完全不透水。好，再我们可能还会听过 flame resistant 是抗燃的、阻燃的 ，stain resistant 是防污的 ，disease resistant 是抗病害的。Heat resistant 是耐热的、抗热的等等。好，那么以上今天重点整理，我回顾今天单词吧。Sturdy. That bench doesn't look very sturdy. I wouldn't sit there if I were you. Ample. Our next stop is the National Museum, where you will have ample time to look around. Electronics. This store has a large range of electronics, including televisions and stereos. Durable. Shoes made of plastic are usually less durable than leather ones. Fabric. I really love your dress. The fabric is so bright and colorful. Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of our program. And please make sure you join us again next time. From all of us here, I am Roger. I'm Helen. See, See you next time. time.